tube bending is kind of an art. If you have a lot of tube runs put together and they're, they're bent properly on this right plane and spaced properly, uh, it really does look great. It looks like jewelry. There's several different forms of tube bending out there. Um, this is the, probably the easiest one. To create this nice little tube run we have right here, we're kind of mimicking or duplicating this pipe run right here. We have to know some basic things, right? So we're gonna show you some, some really cool tricks on how to get a measurement, put a mark on your tubing, and make a bend as quickly as possible. That, that's where our efficiency comes into place. Three marks that we use in tube bending will eliminate a great deal of waste. Um, I can show you one trick that we do. Um, a lot of people don't use a reference mark. What is a reference mark? A reference mark is very simple. It references the end of the tubing that we start with, right? So we keep that reference mark on the left. If we use just the reference mark alone, that's going to eliminate a great deal of waste. Uh, there's some great features with the Swedge Lock Tube Bender. Uh, this is our clamp that holds things in place. You'll notice that I can actually, if I have this set in here right, I can move the tubing back and forth, slide that back and forth to get it set precisely where I need to make my bend. I'll clamp it down and then I'll go ahead and make my bend. It's very simple to use. Before I make a bend, I'm definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that I have my plane lined up. I want this leg to match the new leg that I'm bending in here. I want the new leg to match the previous bend that I made, so I'll use my calibrated eye tricks, get that lined up, tighten my clamp down, and then I'm gonna bring my short handle down. Once it's touching the rollers, uh, generally I'll have a bend mark in here. I'll make sure my bend mark's lined up where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna take the zero on the hand tube bender, I'm going to take that down to the 90 degree mark right there and that's how we do it. So one of the biggest challenges of the tube bending course that we that we provide to our customers is uh, this box. Okay we take the box we put that out in front of everybody and we have them plumb all the tubing up within that box. It's really quite a challenge for for our customers to go through and learn how to bend the box but the most impactful part of the box is when they're done they sit back and they look at that and they can't believe that they've actually done it. That's the, that's the real cool part of it. A lot of people don't give themselves a lot of credit when it comes to mechanical hands-on experience. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help them to uh, lean out their process. Uh, we're gonna help them to save money, uh, save rework, save waste, and most importantly, the confidence to do the job right the first time. Hopefully when you walk out of here, you're gonna have the confidence to make any bend you need to make.